good morning. Today's date is December 12, 2008, and we're at the uh, United States headquarters for Pure Aqua, preparing to ship a 100 cubic meter per day seawater system to Saudi Arabia. I want to mention some of the features of the system so that we can include this video with the uh, with the shipment. The the feed. The seawater feed enters the system at this point here through this through this flange, and then it is uh, directed towards the. Uh, in fact, over here, excuse me, we have some five micron sediment cartridge filters. From there, the feed goes to two 20 horsepower motors with stainless steel pumps. And uh, you can see here that this feed water piping is electro-polished stainless steel. And we feed two vessels in parallel. Each vessel has four 8-inch diameter hydronautics seawater membranes. The pressure vessels are a uh, Protec brand made in the United States and rated to 1,000 PSI. And now back to this lead end here. We also have equipped this skid with a CIP function or a clean in place function whereby we can clean these membranes in this system using this tank here. The uh, system itself is controlled by PLC manufactured by Allen Bradley. Again, in the United States, we have a color touch panel screen and the unit is also equipped with a variable frequency drive, which is this here, which serves to protect the motors and uh, give, give you more efficient operation. Mm -hmm. sure. okay, I'm going to step up to show the functionality of the HMI. Uh, all the buttons that is on the front uh, end is uh, all the functions that we have on the machine itself. The first one is the multimedia. That is going to show you where it filter, uh, the uh, filter feed pump and the backwash pump, as well as, as each valve on the media filter. If you hit the detail button on the media filter, it will allow you to manipulate the valves on a manual mode. Uh, for example, if you hit service, if the system is offline, that is not working, uh, you can enable manually all the valves to do manual rinse, manual backwash, or manual service if you want to uh, trace it. If you place it in auto mode by itself, the filter is going to come online and it's going to show the functionality of each valve. On the chemical fit system, we have the alternative of choosing manual to make sure that we have the uh, pump running. Each of them, it works on a manual condition on a momentary button, so we, know, we, don't, we don't let them running all the time on a manual mode, so we can have an automatic control. This uh, label underneath of each tank show if the tanky has enough uh, volume to keep working, if the volume reach the set point of the level switch, it will change to a low, and it will allow you about uh, 10 to 20 minutes, uh, on, depending on the chemical that we are dosifying, to refill the tank. Uh, you can enable it each individual from here, but any of this dosage pump is not going to come in online unless the high pressure pump is running. The other screen is the arrow system. Uh, this is the main uh, screen, and this one is the one that you're going to be using to start and stop both uh, parts of the machine. The button that shows stop auto, it will uh, set the pump in an automatic, and you will see the speed that your battery frequency drive is uh, running. Uh, of course, the pump is going to change color to show you that it's uh, on or it's off. By shutting it off, you have the opportunity to run your CIP also. Your CIP is not going to run unless your uh, high pressure pump is off. Uh, again, it's a touch panel. Just by touching the button, you will have the ability to turn it on and off. 
The other one is the flash system. If you wanted to shut down the system for a long period of time, you wanted to keep your membranes uh, out of uh, salty water. So on that case, you're gonna start, you're gonna initiate your uh, flush system, provided that you have enough water on the uh, holding tank for the CIP. And uh, the set point. On the set point, we have a uh, set point for an ORP, which uh, is gonna be the way to prevent the system to get, uh, to allow chlorine to go into the system. Uh, the high set point for the PPM, uh, I'm sorry, for the uh, uh, TDS, that is gonna allow you to run the machine uh, on an optimal condition without getting too much uh, salty water on the product line. This, the third one is uh, delay before the start high pressure pump. Uh, we're gonna set it in 25 uh, seconds that is going to allow you to fill the water into the system before we run the high pressure pump. The backwash interval uh, that is going to be set for 24 hours, which means every day the system it will shut down automatically and it will backwash the uh, multimedia filter. Backwash time we're going to set it for uh, 10 minutes. Uh, this is displayed in seconds, so we're gonna have to uh, calculate how many seconds just to have a, a good average of uh, backwash time. And our rinse time is gonna be at three minutes, which is gonna be 180 uh, seconds. And uh, the last one is the alarm history. Uh, once we ship this machine, if any alarm gets uh, uh, if we trigger any alarm on the system, it's gonna be recorded with the date and reason why the alarm happened. So pretty much is uh, uh, the whole thing on this HMI.